welcome to your max class children happy morning to you all now chapter 3 we are going to uh, revise in chapter 3 the last exercise we are going to do today exercise 3.5 you have five problems in this exercise and this is the last exercise in this chapter shall we move on to the problem children yes before moving on to the problem already i told you you just observe the class you listen this video and i will send you the notes uh, to copy down in your rough note i will send you as a pdf then you can copy down okay children shall we move on to the problems yes problem number 1 The maximum speed of some of the animals are given below. The elephant, twenty kilometer per hour. The lion, eighty kilometer per hour. The cheetah, hundred kilometer per hour. Find the following ratios of the speeds in simplified form and find which ratio is the least. They to they ask you to find the ratios in simplified form. You know, simplified. You have to uh, just you cancel out and bring it to your lowest term. Okay, and you have to find the ratio in which it is least. Shall we move on to the problem? The first subdivision is solution. The first subdivision ratio between the elephant and the lion. Okay, so the speed of the elephant divided by speed of the lion. In the question already given, the speed of the elephant is twenty kilometer per hour, and speed of the lion eighty kilometer per hour. So just you substitute speed of the elephant divided by speed of the lion is equal to twenty divided by eighty. You can cancel directly in twenty table. How many times eighty will come? Twenty four is or eighty. Okay, you can cancel directly, or else uh, you can cancel the numerator and denominator zero. So balance will be two by eight. You can cut it in two table. You'll be getting two four is or eight. So one by four is your answer. You can do it this method also. So therefore, what is the ratio you'll be getting? One is to four. One divided by four can be written as one is to four. Now let us move on to the second subdivision: the lion and cheetah. Speed of the lion divided by speed of the cheetah, which is equal to eighty divided by hundred, which is equal to you can cancel same zero zero cancel. Uh, so eight and ten both will be divided in four table. Four twos are eight and five twos are ten. So four by five you will get. So therefore the ratio is equal to four is to five. Now subdivision three: the elephant and cheetah. Speed of the elephant divided by speed of the cheetah twenty divided by hundred. So again the zero and zero will get cancelled. Two by ten you will be getting. The two by ten how many times in ten uh, will come in two table five times. So cancel by five. So one by five is your answer. Therefore the ratio is equal to one is to five. Now which is the least? The re which ratio is the least? You have to find. So the ratio of elephant to, to cheetah is the least one. That is the least ratio you got. One is to five. The other things are larger. So the least means very small. The least one, small one. So in this, the smallest one is the ratio between the elephant to cheetah. So that is the least one. Have you all understood, children? Now let us move on to the problem number two. A particular high school has. Thousand five hundred students, fifty teachers, and five administrators. If the school grows to thousand eight hundred students and ratios are maintained, then find the number of teachers and administrators. I think you all understood the question, children. Read the question once again. What it is actually given? No, in a in a school. For example, you take our school itself, but uh, we have more more students in our school. But uh, you just take for an example. So they had given thousand five hundred students are there. For those thousand five hundred students, there are fifty teachers are there, and five administrators. That is the office peoples are there. Now the ad uh, the admissions that is the students are increased to thousand eight hundred. Now we have to find how many teachers and how many te administrators are there. That numbers we have to find. That is the question. Okay, children. Now let uh, now let us move on to the solution. Now let us write the solution. Whatever you, they are given the question, the ratio of student is to teachers is to administrators. So thousand five hundred is to fifty is to five. They are given for student thousand five hundred students, fifty teachers and five administrators. So we will write those things in the ratio format. Thousand five hundred is to fifty is to five. Now listen, new ratio that is the for thousand eight hundred we have to find. Okay, that is the new ratio. 
students is to teachers is to administrators we know that there are 1800 students we don't know the number of teachers and we don't know the number of administrators we are going to find that only okay now given the ratios are maintained that is they are proportional it is given in the question that the ratios are maintained you can observe the children the ratios are maintained that means they are proportional what is the meaning of proportional equal okay now let us move on to the problem so 1500 divided by 1800 equal to 50 divided by new teachers which is equal to 5 divided by new administrators now from the first two ratios taking the cross product now i am going to take 1500 by 1800 equal to 50 divided by new teachers to find how many new teachers are available so let us take the first two ratios alone <coughs> now listen here i have cross multiplied it okay so new teachers equal to 50 into 1800 divided by <coughs> 1500 you can simplify this uh, denominator you have 1520 you cut it and in the numerator 1800 two zeros you cancel it so the balance will be 18 by 15 we can cut it in three tables okay five threes are 15 so down you'll be getting five and six threes are 18 the numerator you will be getting six and five how many times it will come in 50 10 times so six uh, five tens are 50 so you can cancel so multiply the 10 and 6 you'll get the answer 60 so now the new teacher value is 60 now like this we want to find the new administrator value i think you all understood children already for 1500 students they are given 50 teachers and 5 administrators now we are finding for the 1800 students we want to find how many how many Uh, teachers are there and how many administrators will be there now we finish fi finding out the teachers 60 teachers are there now let us move on to the administrator now take the again next things 1500 divided by 1800 equal to 5 divided by new administrator next ratios the same manner you just uh, cross multiply it same thing 2020 20 will cancel and in 5 15 will come under three times so 5 threes are 15 again three you can cancel with 18 6 times you can cancel so the new administrator equal to 6 therefore for 1800 students 60 teachers and 6 administrators are needed have you all understood children shall we move on to problem number 3 yes question number 3 i have a box which has three green nine blue four yellow and eight orange colored cubes in it what is the ratio of orange to yellow cubes what is the ratio of green to blue cubes and how many different ratios can be formed when you compare each color to any one of the other colors so the three questions asked in this question let us move on to the each problem children solution option a uh, for the a answer ratio of orange to yellow cube you can observe the box children they in the question they have said inside the box there are four different colors you can observe can you observe the cubes children it is blue color yellow color orange color and green color these are the four colors four different color cubes now number of orange to yellow cubes number of orange cubes divided by number of yellow cubes how many orange cubes in the question they are given 8 how many yellow cubes they are given 4 you can cancel it in four table directly four twos are 8 so 2 by 1 therefore ratio of orange to yellow is equal to 2 is to 1 next option uh, b b question ratio of green to blue cubes so number of green, green cubes divided by number of blue cubes which is equal to number of green cubes it is given in the question 3 number of blue cubes 9 so 3 by 9 is equal to 1 divided by 3 so your answer therefore the ratio of green to blue is equal to blue cubes equal to 1 is to 3 next c now they ask you to form the ratio so you have actually four uh, colors so in each thing we can form a ratio that is uh, four things if we want to form a two two ratios you can first you take orange orange combined with yellow 
blue and green okay then you take yellow yellow is to orange yellow is to blue yellow is to green then you take blue color blue is to green blue is to orange blue is to yellow then you take green green is to orange green is to yellow green is to blue so totally there are 12 ratios can be formed so among this four colors there are 12 ratios can be formed okay children now third problem is over let us move on to problem number four a gets double of what B gets and B gets double of what C gets. Find A is to B and B is to C and verify whether the result is in proportion or not. Now listen children, let us take solution. I think you all understood the question. Have you all understood the question children? A gets double of what B gets and B gets double of what C gets. It is getting double. Okay. We want to find... A is to B and B is to C and verify whether the result in proportion or not. You know already what is proportion. You have to get equal to. Okay. Now let X be the part owned by C. Now we are going to take, uh, let X be the part, uh, it is a C part. Okay. Now then A is to B is to C. What is given? A gets double of what B gets. It is a double. Okay. So 2 into 2x. Now we have taken the b as 2x. C as x. Okay. Uh, when comparing to c, the b is double. So we have taken c as x. So the double of uh, c is uh, 2x for b. And double of uh, bx is 4x. That is 2 into 2x. Okay. So I will be getting 4x is to 2x is to x. Now they ask you to find a is to b and b is to c. So a is to b is equal to... 4x is equal to, that is 4x is to 2x. Now listen children, x and x will get cancelled. And 4, uh, 2 times you can cancel. In 2 table, 4 will come 2 times. So 2 is to 1 is your answer. Now b is to c you take. b is to two, c is nothing but what is the b value? 2x. What is the c value? x. Again here also the x and x will get cancelled. So 2 is to 1. Is it uh, equal or not children? Yes, it is equal. A is to B value is 2 is to 1 you got. And B is to C is equal to 2 is to 1 you got. So, the both the answers are in equal. Therefore, A is to B as to B is to C. They are in proportion. Understood children? Now, let us move on to the last problem. Problem number 5. So, here it is given as a table. The ingredients required for the preparation of ragi kali, a healthy dish of Tamil Nadu is given below. Okay, the ingredients are ragi flour, quantity 4 cup, raw rice broken 1 cup, water 8 cups, sea same oil 15 milliliters and salt 10 milligrams. Okay, option A, A question. If 1 cup of ragi flour is used, then what would be the amount of raw rice required? B. If 16 cups of water is used, then how much of ragi flour should be used? C. Which of these ingredients cannot be expressed as a ratio? Why? So, three questions they asked. Now, let us move on to your first question, A. Okay, let us move on to the solution, children. A. What is the question? If one cup of ragi flour is used, then what would be the amount of raw rice required? That is your question. So, one cup of uh, ragi flour is used means what is the amount of raw rice required? So, ragi flour is to raw rice. In the question, ragi flour 4 cup is given and raw rice broken 1 cup is given. If 1 cup of ragi flour is used, then the ratio of ragi flour is to raw rice equal to, you already ragi flour, it is given 4 cups. Now, 4 divided by 4 you do is to 1 by 4. So, what will you get? 1 is to 1 by 4. So, raw rice required is 1 fourth. That is 1 by 4 cup it required. I think you all understood children. That is for 4 cup of ragi flour that 1, one cup ragi, raw rice is used. Now, in the question they asked 1 cup of ragi flour how many raw rice can be used? That is your question. 
okay so listen to the uh, line second line children if one cup of ragi flour is used then the ratio of ragi flour is to raw rice is equal to 4 divided by 4 is to 1 by 4 so 4 by 4 will get cancelled 1 is to 1 by 4 so raw rice required is equal to 1 by 4 cup now b next question what is the next question if 16 cups of water is used, then how much of ragi flour should be used? Actually, what is the water given? 8 cups they are given in the question. Okay, given ratio of water is to ragi flour. They are given ratio of water 8 and ragi flour 4, 4 cups. Okay, but if 16 cups of water is used, then the ratio of water is to ragi flour. 16 means we have to double it. Okay, already they have used ratio of water 8. They are used 8 cups. Okay. So, now we are going to multiply that by 2 tables. So, ragi flour should also be multiplied. Say, 8 into 2 is to 4 is into 2. So, your answer is 16 is to 8. Therefore, 8 cups of ragi flour is used. So, you have to use 8 cups of ragi flour. Now, the last question C. Which of these ingredients cannot be expressed as ratio Y? Now, among this ingredient, they are given ragi flour, raw rice broken, water, sea same oil and salt. Among this, which cannot be expressed as ratio, they asked. And we have to give the reason also. Let us see that answer, children. Raw rice, water and ragi flour are in one unit. Okay, they are all in same unit. That is, they are given in cups. For ragi flour, 4 cups, raw rice broken, 1 cup and water, 8 cups. But, listen to the sesam and salt are in different unit. Sesam, they are given 50 milliliters and salt, they are given 10 milligrams. They both are in different units. Okay, so we cannot compare that one and cannot be expressed as a ratio. I think you all understood. To express as a ratio means both the both the numbers should be have a same unit. But here the units are different. But ragi flour, raw rice and water, all the units, they, it is mentioned in the cups. So we can find the ratio for those things. But sea same oil and salt are having the different units. One is in milliliter and the other one is in milligram. So we cannot find the ratio for that we cannot be expressed as a ratio for that one understood children yes so that's all today's class session uh, class children sorry today's session is over thank you and have a nice day please don't forget to solve once in your rough note all these five problems and send it to your concerned teacher okay children okay have a nice day thank you ma'am